keep them off balance, yeah. move it. This is bad. They're going to think fastball. Go through, go through the first part of the lineup, maybe starting out with a fastball, mm -hmm. and then maybe two sl hard sliders. And then the next time around, first pitch would be a curveball or a slider. So they really can't try and sit up, get up the bat and then guess what I'm going to throw. Mm -hmm. I try to keep them off with my three pitches and keep trying to mix those in for first pitches and always throw them for a strike. No. no. It's just, more instinctual. Yeah, just go yeah. up there and whatever feels right, I'm throwing it. Just like a beastly animal. I mean, if it's if I feel like throwing ten sliders in a row, I'm gonna throw ten sliders in a row. I don't. I don't, I don't care, care what your catcher's calling. No, I'll shake them off. <laughs> Even though Will, I shook him off three times and he put down the same sign three times in a row, and I did strike him out on that, so I gotta tip my cap to Will. <laughs> it made me angry, but I guess he knew best. Waterloo, the 0-2 from the tall right-hander in Jensen. Got him swinging strike three. Chased after a high fastball. A strikeout wide away, and that brings up... Word. Laid back. Laid back. Definitely. Do you try that? Yeah, it's the kind of coach that I like because it yeah. doesn't put any pressure on you. Mm -hmm. He doesn't show any emotions. He doesn't yell or tell you to do something different. You know, he always tries working with you, and it, mm -hmm. it really helps relax. I think a lot of the kids, when you don't have a coach out there yelling at you, trying to change things... And when you when you strike out or you let up a home run, you really don't have to worry about like what he's thinking about you. He's still going to support you and keep you out there, keep you in the lineup, and keep doing what you do. He's never going to really give up on you. So it's really, it's really a nice coach, and I, I like having him. That's for sure. You just described him like as a loyal companion, like a dog almost. Yeah, definitely. I don't know. Does not really have the hair or the legs like a dog? Or anything, <laughs> I was going to say if you would, if he keeps were... a straight face like a dog. Let's I go think. Golden Retriever. Everybody likes to go and retrieve him. They see you go and retrieve They want to pet it. And I don't know how that converts to Dale, but I think everybody likes Dale and always want to talk to Dale. So I'm going to say we're going to have to go with the Golden Retriever. That's for sure. <laughs> Only if you knew we were talking about him right now yeah, compared to the dogs. We're thinking about doing an interview with him, but I don't know how that would turn out. Dale, what kind of dog do you think you are? <laughs> George said you'd be a gold retriever. He comes out and says Chihuahua. <laughs> Slider. Slider? Yep. Just because it makes everybody look like an idiot or yep. what? Yeah. And I can throw for a strike whenever I want. It's not. Not a lot of people could do that. No. Nope. I was gonna, I was expecting fastball because you can get it across. For... But everybody throws a fastball. Yeah. I mean, everybody throws a slider, but I mean. Not your slider. Yeah. We could say that. Yeah. No, uh, I just try to stay relaxed and just act like it's just another day. Mm -hmm. Like, well, same things I did yesterday and the day before. I just try to keep it the same. I don't want to get religious or superstitious on mm -hmm. anything because then. If a superstition, you don't do it right, you don't want to think, get that in your head, and then you're yeah. thinking on the mound, and then it yeah. relates to your pitching, and then you don't do so good. Just so takes just, it out of what you're doing. Just relaxed and, you know, joking around is what I prefer mm -hmm. the most. He had nothing with the wind blowing briskly out. 0-2 pitch, grounded right back to Jensen on the mound. He kind of has a look-what-I-found look on his face. He'll toss it over to first, two up, two down. It was not a hard chopper, but it wasn't a tap. Practical jokers, uh, Garrett. Garrett yeah. definitely picked up Bobby from the airport and told Bobby that he was the catcher's coach. And Bobby believed him. So the other day when we were at Washaw, Garrett went up to him and told him to do something and Bobby didn't do it. So Garrett went up to Bobby and said, you have to run poles for me right now. And Bobby believed him and went and ran poles. So, <laughs> so I said, that's probably the best one right now is Garrett, even though he's gone. But best joke, I don't know. I've seen the pros that really like kids are the team's uh, shoelaces on fire oh yeah yeah or the, the, the match and they yeah i think the, the best are the original ones where someone just blows a big bubble and puts it on your hat and you walk around for four or five innings with that on and have no clue he has gone three and two on levine three two pitch curveball load got him looking strike three a like strike call from home plate umpire david reeves levine I worked on that, yeah. No. no. Maybe you guys should get on that. We should. Steve McGuigan, I think, would be our captain. He'd be the leader of the dance yeah. line. Yeah. <laughs> I'm scary, guys. Scary movies are really? my favorite. Yeah. Definitely. Like, like old school scary movies like Friday the 13th? Yeah, I've probably seen every single one of those. Friday the 13th, all the Halloweens. Jason definitely. Goes to Hell. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Jason's definitely. in Space. Yep. And then probably after that, it'd probably be comedy. Yeah. And yep. stuff like that. And then like the good thinker ones like Edge of Darkness, Loud Budding Citizens. Those ones are 
That was also, I like that a lot. Fan? Yeah. yeah, huge. Did you like 300? Yeah, I loved it. Did you feel a little... I feel like I need to work on my abs after that. <laughs> That's for sure. Man, <laughs> need yeah. You to get their workout. You gotta get. We'll go with one of the keys after looks would be personality. Great eyes again and lips. Definitely with a nice set of teeth. Nice and straight. Yeah, straight white teeth. <laughs> yeah, you don't want any British looking. No. Face. No hair in their face, no mustaches. Not even a little light like, on the lip? No, no. nothing. <laughs> no moles. One two pitch. Got him swinging strike three. Two up, two down, both by a strikeout. And Travis. We'll have to go with wheat bread. Very healthy. Yes. With four pieces of ham. One piece of turkey, one thin piece of lettuce, and cheese definitely, and American cheese, You're Ameri in the land of Ameri Ameri American <laughs> cheese, uh, and then real mayo has to be real. So you gotta have the real stuff, mm. and then diced up onions. Yeah. You know, it's with so a side of Doritos and a Mountain Dew. Would you say that's your favorite lunch? Yes, wow. probably. Stay the same. <laughs> Stay the same. It's gotten me this far so far, so I'm not changing a thing. So would you say you love yourself from the inside out? Yes. Yeah. If there's okay, we'll go on since you asked me. If there's one thing I'd like to be like two inches taller. Are you serious? Yep. Like I'm five eight. How tall are you? Six four. Blue. Blue. Why? Blue. I don't baby blue to be specific. Oh. I don't know. You talking like Chargers baby blue? Yep, yeah, definitely. That's, that's like Something that catches my eye. Yeah. A little so flashy. Either we we'll go with baby blue or lime green. Something that just stands out or something that just makes you happy. One yeah. of the two, you know? Something that pops. Right? Yep, yep. I was thinking maybe like the Denver Nuggets blue too. Like, yeah, that's. Like that. You blue. don't see those enough anymore. Like, no, with like the things. shiny gloss to their yeah, jerseys. Yeah. Rounding to death, burning to death, and getting stabbed to death are my three fears. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> those, those are my fears. <laughs> Getting stabbed to death, like that is that's a pretty random. I think those are three really painful deaths and really <laughs> just brutal. <laughs> Thanks to Matt. Matt's the boy with the necklaces right now. Really? Yeah. He's he had he was wearing one and everybody started asking about it. Then then he made one for all the all the pitchers and then the position players saw them and then made them for all the position players and I mean now. Jake and CJ have them, and Avery have them, so I mean, they're spreading out to the fans a little bit. So yeah. I mean, it's been pretty fun. He's made pink ones for the breast cancer game. He's gonna make camel ones for the camel games. I mean, <laughs> so there's, you... there's been a lot of tape purchased in the last couple <laughs> weeks, that's for sure. Do you want one? I kinda do. I didn't... We just write down the colors, and we'll put an order in. Really? Yeah. Cool. I mean, he's got every color from pink to purple to red to gray, to black to white to orange, green. Hit purple. I mean, Roy G. Biff. He's just got everything. I like that. We're gonna have to ask him about that. <laughs> you know, like where he learned that or anything, or uh, I don't. We never really asked. I mean, yeah. it's not just like, assumed he was a necklace maker. Yeah, definitely. Kind of I mean, he's. You look at him. You say necklace maker. When you, see <laughs> it, you just know it. Watch those hands go to work. Never seen someone break so fast in my life. And the payoff pitch. On the inside corner, got him looking. Strike three. George Jensen strikes out the side in the top of the second inning.